On Saturday, Stanford teenagers took a once-in-a-lifetime trip to a fashion photo shoot in New York City. A lot of these kids, like you saw, they're like, hey, I want to be a model. And then they get out there, they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. And pretty much what we're trying to tell them is that it's harder than what they think it is. And it's not just, hey, get up here and you pose. It takes a whole lot more. It takes a lot of planning, research, and ultimately our end goal here is these kids need to stay in school because this industry is brutal and we just want to open up their eyes so that way they could see what it's really about. Avador organized the trip as an opportunity for students to experience the behind the scenes happenings during a photo shoot. Students had the chance to meet with professional photographers, designers and others in the fashion industry. I'm the digital capture tech. And what does that person actually do? Uh, think of me as like the film lab. I make sure the files get from the camera to the computer and then process them out as either JPEGs or TIFFs. Oh, it took a lot. I used to work in the city for Comedy Central for marketing, so I switched over to makeup and um, have been doing makeup for weddings and special events and I met Berlene, who is the makeup artist here today, and she told me to come along and be her assistant because there were going to be so many models and um, that's where I got myself and now it's just amazing. If somebody needs something for a prom or like a gala or fashion week or something to wear to an event, something specific, then hopefully they'd come to me and then say, I like strapless and I want like a princess gown or something and then kind of work together, bounce ideas off, I'll sketch it up for them, fit them. So rather than me create a line and they pick and choose from the line, it's like they come in, they give their ideas and then it's created after. Schmidt told us that there are a few things that you should keep in mind if you hope to get into designing. I would definitely say it's a good thing to go to school for, <laughs> um, to get the training as far as sewing. Even Eventually I hope to just do the sketches and design it and then have someone else sew it, but it's nice to have that background knowledge so that you know how things fit together and how they're going to work out. Um, and then internships is a big thing, just so that you can kind of get hands-on experience and maybe know if it's really something that you want to pursue. The 5,000 square foot studio became home to professional models from different states for 10 hours while the students witnessed the process start to finish. They say they learned a lot. This is a really good opportunity to kind of learn about how to get into the whole photography thing and how to take better pictures and just so basically I came here to learn more and to better my own skills. Um, I came today because I'm interested in modeling and I really wanted to get my foot in the industry so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to um, get that head start. You know, I like it. It's a beautiful setting, great people, and it's a good environment. Well, I learned that um, the fashion designers, they look for certain people to be their models. So, like, they would look for, like, some, um, some people that are short or some people that are tall, or they would look for different um, looks that they like. Avador grew up in Stanford and says that as a photographer and director, this was his way of giving back to his community. He says he looks forward to expanding the experience for students in the future. Um, you know, the next time we do this, you know, I, I want to get a bigger studio so that way I get the kids involved. And then that way they'll get a real assessment whether this is something they want to pursue after high school or not. And actually, no, I just look forward to seeing everybody back, you know, the next time we do this. That's it. It'd be bigger and better.